I've got a 3D printer at the end of last year and uh, since then I've been printing lots of stuff. One of the things I've been printing is uh, cases for my Raspberry Pis. So this is what I've produced and I've got the mounting holes in the bottom, access for the SD card out the side and it fits the Raspberry Pi perfectly. So what I've been doing before is um, creating cases out of polythene boxes with the using a knife to cut the holes but this is so much better because once you've done the design you just when you want another one you just print it off um, and so I've printed a lid as well where I can mount a camera and I've got access to the um, the IO slots um, I've been using um, some glue to, to keep the print bed but uh, so I get a bit of glue on the top but that's okay and the top just slides slides in like this uh, slides into position uh, with an interference fit and I've got a couple of hinges on as well where I can uh, mount a uh, kind of lid as well if I need to later on because I've got plans later on to, to convert some of my old projects and I'll need a, a hinge lid for that. So like I say, um, once you've done one you can print loads so all of my test Raspberry Pis I've uh, printed off a case for. So the 1A, 1B, 2B, 3B and they're just the same same design printed off again and again although the earlier ones have different mount holes on the bottom and uh, and of course they they have the different access ports so I've had to do a design for the earlier models and then a design for the later models but but they all the, the size of the boards are exactly the same and everything so they all fit nicely in like I say you can mount a camera in the top so as these are my test ones I just use them to, to test that my code works on uh, on all of the Raspberry Pi designs and then because all of the designs are the same what I can do after that is design a housing which can hold an 18650 battery in there behind uh, a lid uh, and I've got a couple of holes in the side one's for a power port uh, another's for a power switch uh, and I've got area in the side where I can put um, my it's like a boost converter and charge charger this is just off, off of uh, one of those cheap uh, one pound battery packs so you get an 18650 battery uh, in pound land uh, and this is a circuit inside which handles the charging and also the power supply of, of five volts so that, that will tuck in the side now the wiring for this um, this fet is pretty simple so I've I've bought a couple of USB connectors. Uh, the big size and the small size, the mini and the and the, the, the original size. Uh, and I can just wire onto those then. So the battery wires onto the terminals on the actual board over this end here. So that's the battery connector. Uh, and then the power input that wires onto the small uh, micro USB connector. And then the switch goes from the large connect or from one point in the large so you've got a ground come off the of, of one of the outputs of the large one and then the other one goes through the switch and then onto the raspberry pi and then this goes onto the raspberry pi at the other end uh, and i've also made an area in the back where i can put a little amplifier i haven't made one of those audio amplifiers yet because um because of the issues with china at the minute and the delays on shipping um i've decided not to not to buy any pcbs for now until it all settles down uh, but like I say, get 18650 batch in the back. And then when that's all put together, uh, you get this. So I've got an 18650 batch in the back. I've got a switch on the side uh, with a with a power socket for charging. Uh, and I've got my, an LCD, touch LCD display on the top and the ports out the side. So you can still access all the ports and everything. Uh, and then if I switch it on, uh, it powers up the display uh, and it takes a little while for a Raspberry Pi to boot of course and, and the display doesn't come active until it's loaded the driver for the uh, the display then it starts uh, scrolling up the other boot messages for the uh, Raspberry Pi you could probably make it boot a bit faster but, um, but I've just slung in the SD card that was in this Raspberry Pi originally and it goes into the graphics um, the desktop view.
and because it, it's the one of the three and a half inch touch displays so you can um, access things like file manager or gedit so file manager there and you can do your normal stuff the only thing about these touch displays is at the minute i still haven't found a way of um doing right clicks using the touch display but i'm sure there's probably a way of configuring that uh, and then you can go through log out and shut down that makes a nice handy um portable raspberry pi so i've got to convert all my old projects into into this format where i've got the battery pack and the raspberry pi and because i've got hinges i can put um i can um, convert my original main project hopefully into this as well uh, it's a latching switch on the side so you have to uh, switch it off on the side as well.